Okie dokie. Hi, Rule. I barely know her. <laughs> Alright, Rule. Jonas isn't here. You go in the penalty box. Eh. No. Let's Okay, uh, I don't know where we left off last. Uh, well, I finished that what? long quest, so I get to choose what I'm doing now. What am I, what am I missing? What do I need to do? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the completionist run. That's right. Yeah, so you need to find hints for the fifth stage now. Now that you figure there is yeah. one. Um. Okay, so. Are these ruins that? up here are Typho ruins. Yeah, you got Typho ruins. You've got the labyrinths you could do. Yeah, there's you labyrinths. Do depths. Depths the exploration. Labyrinths would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> They're not as rewarding in this game as they were in Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, they give you the barbarian set. In this, they in this game they give you just like another sneak set. Another sneak set. There's already two. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Right here's the third one. Yeah, so specifically if you're trying to find stuff from Zonai Ruins, you should probably uh, head up the Zonai Research Division. Uh, from wherever Zonai they Research are. Research Division, okay. I guess I'll go to Kakario Village. I thought he said that I'll go to Lucario Village. Oh, Kakario Village. No, it's, Kakariko. Uh, Kakariko. I, I always pronounce it Kakario when I was young, so whenever I see the word, <laughs> it's the first th pronunciation that comes to mind. <laughs> well, we're out at Lucario Village now. How many shrines are we at? We're at 67. We still got three, uh, well, two and uh, one sixth of a battery. Mm. That would be fun. <laughs> Rick Cario Village, Luke Cario Village, John Cario Village, James Cario Village. So high, he says, whining like a whiner. Whiner, don't Let's climb whiner. up like a normal person. <laughs> and then Jonas. Ah, uh, hi, Jonas. Jones. Enter Jonas. Hello, Jones. That's me. I'm Jones. Ooh. How are you? Hello, Jones. My name is Mills. Welcome to Rick's Jones Riz and Mills. stream. <laughs> hmm? 
Bill oh. Jonas, coming here to mm. save the day. That's right. Mm. Jones and Mills. We're, uh, we're either a law firm or we make cereal together. I was going to say that uh, cereal. We make, uh... Mm. We make blue corn tortillas. Oh, sweet. I love blue corn tortillas. I keep trying to uh, push a product that's like blue corn kettle chips, and uh, they just don't market test very well. So, you didn't try very much, Chica, but if you tried to get at those ruins at all, Baldi over there would teleport you away every time. No, I did that and, a lot. Mm. Yeah, the only way you could get him to stop doing that is you had to reveal that Zelda was a fake, and that the fact that she had instructed him to close it off was, you know, a trap. Mm. Uh, Falsification. So that's one of the ones I'm saying, like, that. that is a thing that very much linearizes this game. Is that you have to do all four phenomenons, fight Phantom Ganon in the castle, then come back here. And tell me what Zelda was fake. You can't just happen to find the hint here through your own investigation. They gate it off behind uh, the bald guy. Hello, chat. There we go. What do you know? What do you know? Tell me before I have to cut it out of here. Yeah. Tell me oh, everything, please. Shay. Shay. Who are you? What are you hide? This guy's hair. <laughs> Go to pick whatever he, mine he is so specifically like over designed, and he's <laughs> used so little in this game. <laughs> he's like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs>
Frederick says, I really hate how the photos come out super grainy like it's a JPEG from the 2000s. <laughs> Guess how they're stored on your Switch. Mm. You think it saves it in some fancy format that's specific oh. to the game? No, it saves it in like a JPEG. Flying gym leader? He keeps making fishing puns. He's clearly a water gym leader. And off we go! <laughs> the adventure continues! Oh. Hello! I actually remember to statue from Breath of the Wild. Woo. I only have three. Womp. 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 Why did they give the little statue a bib? I don't... It's not a bib. It's like an apron or something, right? Um, it's, it's just a Sheikah thing. I Well, nice actually, thing. no, it's, it's a Japanese thing. Um, I don't know the exact function, uh, but they also have those on Inari shrines uh, on the fox statues. That's where Fox McCloud gets his scarf. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm looking at some photos here, and yeah, they put little red... kind of look like aprons around the necks of fox statues. Yeah, there's definitely a cultural context to it that I that I am not. I, I don't know the nuances of. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a reference in the Twitch chat. The article that kind of goes over them. Ah. Specifically, these ones are not the uh, like Shinto fox statues. These ones are. Uh, Jizo statues that are supposed right. to be representations of the Buddha. Right, the little tiny ones. There's like, and mm -hmm. there's like a line. I remember a fable about that. Like, like the old lady was nice to one, and like it, it, like it came to life and like helped her out with like household stuff or something like that. It's really <laughs> cute. Japanese lore is this interesting mix of like, there's like there's like little little cute things like that, like little, little friendly spirits, and then there's like I guess it's not that different from Western lore, but then, yeah, and then there's also like weird demonic stuff, you know. Mhm. Mm it's all kinds of things of different ideologies clashing and then trying to establish syncretism. Yeah, it's like Shinto and Buddhism and like uh, other stuff, probably like a substrate too. Yeah, mythology is funny. Yeah. And all the cultures in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the King, they're all very compact uh, theme park versions of the different cultures they're sort of based on. Yeah, they have. Well, I mean, 
they have to distill it down. I mean, for a game like this. I mean, really for any game. It's hard to, like, go through mm. all of the uh, complexities of uh, oh, yeah. that stuff. Yeah, Kakariko is very much Japanese mountain town. Mm -hmm. Hyrule is European medieval city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lorelin is Pacific Islanders. Yeah, Lorelin's like 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 the Pacific Islands. Yeah. Rito is uh, penguins. Because what, the birds say? in cold. They're penguins, right? That's how that works. <laughs> they build giant wooden towers that they roost in. I That's what penguins do, right? I kind of thought the Rita Village had a little bit, little bit of like an Alps vibe. But, I don't know. Probably <laughs> a mishmash. Like Gerudo. Gerudo are very clearly a mishmash of different desert cultures, because I get a bit of like Middle Eastern, but also some like Mexican or like yeah. Southwestern North American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of the, uh, like, little blue mosaic really tiling and. The <laughs> entrance to the Kuko Cave. Mm. There should be an icon for it on your map if you've gone into it. It marks all the caves. Does it? I think it's south of you. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's Kuko Hideaway. Okay, it's on the other mountain. I don't remember being on that mountain. Ooh. Yeah, every time you go into a cave entrance, it leaves a marker. Mm. And then if you've gotten the, bu the bubble frog in the cave, it check marks the cave entrance. Huh? What are the Gorons? The Gorons are dwarves. Like, yeah. how else to really explain it? Yeah, I suppose that kind of adds up, yeah. Goodness, you're a little quiet. Am I? Hold on, let me let me see if uh, Windows is being a chunk of crap again. One second. Yeah, the Gorons and the Zora are more defined by the sort of uh, the way they've been designed in previous games more than they are based on any one culture or anything. Alright, is this better? Uh, yeah. you're definitely louder. Okay. I really can't tell. You sound fine to me. Uh, I need more eggs. Well, okay, okay. If, if I sound quiet to Rick, then that means I sound quiet to OBS in the stream, so, you know. Okay. That's usually my, uh... <laughs> Federick says, oh yeah, those are our elves then, I guess. Water elves distinct from the Hylian elves. I, think so I brought this up before. Of I was like, are the Hylians elves? Do they count as an elf race? Um, yeah. Because they've got long ears, they've got some kind of magic to them, sort of. They're, they're, many of them are kind of lithe and fey. I mean, I think, I think broadly speaking, they qualify. It's... I, I think thing. the agreement is they are not elves. They are too much an analog for just human, and the fact they have pointy ears is just a way to make it so they aren't technically humans. They're yes. anime elves. They're, <laughs> they're completely divorced from Tolkien-esque elves. They're just, well, you know, people with pointy ears and some sort of vague nature connection. <laughs> they're enlightened humans. <laughs> yeah. I think the agreement we said it was like Vulcans can count as elves, but Hylians don't. Vulcans. I mean, <laughs> are they not space elves? Funny. I think the whole concept they were going with is that the Hylians Hi are basically enlightened humans in, a, in an elf sense. Uh. That's well, the way I thought of it anyway. Well, that's fair. Love of I, humans. I got no horse in that race. <laughs> you got no horse in that race, Ace. Oh, there's...
I'm doing hot and that case. Clunk, clunk. There's another oh, one in the me. cave. Uh, good question. If it says down, it probably is. It mm. did. Oh, this one might be not in a cave. I think this one is in a well. Mm. So I think this area has a lot of wells in it. And they all connect into one like super cave. I just saw it through the bars. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh. Little green swirly. Right there. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's on that yeah. side of the bars. Yeah, I think you gotta find a different well to go down. Zonai are furry elves. No, the Zonai are ancient aliens. Well, or you can't have aliens and elves in the same story. Yes, yes you can. It's called you're Fantasy Star. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe, uh, Jonas, I think you get nerds or Joe. <laughs> Hello, Dusty Lion. Thank you for the raid. Hey, thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, Zonai counts as a meat crust, not a fish crust. Are we going to eat the Zonai? Are we? Is is that is that where we're going with this? Are we, are we gonna Are we gonna eat Raru? I mean, he's kind of a snack, but anyway. Um, <laughs> gonna have ourselves some mutton. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna eat Raru. Yeah, they all flee. But but okay, it flooded. Besides the wooden chest, what does that get you? Or is it just for the wooden chest? Change anything back Dragon? down to this one? Wee! Doesn't look like it. Mm. Also, I heard dragon. Dragon? Yeah, that was the dragon music. This is dragon near you. Oh, oh, I see what you meant. Oh! Hi, oh. Farosh, oh. who's currently diving into the ground. Get him! Eat the earth. Ah, he's going underground. 
It's your only chance. He's like, mmm, snack. It dies into the earth. Need claw, need claw, need claw. Nail it. Did you get it? Did got I get it? Got it. That looks good. Yeah, you got it. Let's hope it doesn't shoot down the chasm, because it looks like it's going to. <laughs> That's an adventure. My eyes are not deceiving me, you did indeed hit it. I didn't yeah, see it, it looks go like anywhere it might... else. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like it went down the chasm. Well. Adventure! Oh, there it is, sparkling. <laughs> oh no. Remember, you could do the, the dive to give some air control. Yeah. Yay, cool. All right. Oh. You missed. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. Nope, yeah, gonna, get ya. gonna get you. Gonna get you. I'll get you this time, Link. It's like a feeling right now. That's what this kind of situation is. It's like a henchman bragging about how he's gonna get you with his uh, car. <laughs> His little monocycle. That too. And points for creativity. Well, a few points. Oh no. My vehicle failed. <laughs> Ooh, Ow. you opened up the storehouse. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Yay! Crystallized charges. Mm -hmm. And. Yiga schematic. A Yiga schematic. Beam once again, proving that. <laughs> once again, proving that the Yiga are essentially a corporation. <laughs> that, uh. Oh. Actually looks incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I mean, I think there's a couple of those above you. You just barely dodged them as you were diving in. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, they look so silly. I, mean, I guess it's air defense, but... Okay, I'm gonna go. Get that. Light up this area. And then I will go back up. Hmm. Just attack, does Rick know you can get shards from the dragon's spikes? I don't know, does he? What are shards? Uh, so this is one of the things I was saying like earlier in the game, is that unlike Breath of the Wild, you can now stand on the dragons yeah. if you can resist their elemental effects. Um, and the spikes on their back, if you run up to them, will have little shards sticking out that you can just press A to grab instead of having to shoot them. And you can grab a pretty good chunk of them every time you run down the length of the dragon's back. Okay. They're a nice, easy fuse weapon. They sell for a pretty good amount. They give you elemental stuff on your weapons. I'm gonna coax Stoker over here. He's worried about spoilers. Mm. He did say um, he was gonna try to get the game someday, didn't he? Yeah, if we're gonna be doing the Zona exploration stuff with Toro, there's definitely gonna be some spoilers. Oh, let me let me tell him. I'm just gonna see how long it takes though for Rick to do that instead of going off into another thing and then another thing and then another thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been on that. Okay. 
this is beeping at me. I need to go do it. <laughs> no, I know. I don't besmirch you for it. I, it's how the game is designed. It's just, it's funny. Oh, there's another well down there. But this is not a real well. There's nothing in here. Unless no, I, I think... blow it up. Blow it the fuck up. <laughs> that didn't work. Aww. Uh, you do a uh, try jumping attack with your weapon. Yeah. Who that? It stokes bad. You can't prove that. It bad. I think you can yeah, stand. I think you can stand in the well and then just jump straight up and slam. Okay. That's... What do I have ahead? But can you also <laughs> come on and slam and welcome to the jam? There we go. Why oh I god, there's it? more. Go, Sandy Sam. This would be less. Difficult if I could just light and drop bombs like any others in the game. It would be less difficult if it was easy, but if it was easy, then what would be the point? Point is that I won't get my riches. Well, even if it was easy, then you could have it done, and then it would be done. <laughs> It'd be over. And then what would you play? I mean, there aren't, any other, there, ah! aren't any other, there aren't any other games. It's uh, true, this is the aren't. only one. There really aren't. I tried to play a game other than Tears of the Kingdom, and I was just profoundly upset. You are really also hard. kind of quiet, Stoker. I am? Yes. Let me let me get my face a little closer to the mic and see if that helps. Does that help? Um. Mm. Okay, let me fiddle with... Fervor, fervor. Uh, remember, Rick, you can, you can alter our... Uh, you can manually... Override our volumes in. Uh, you can me, you, you I can, me. but it only does so much. I mean, I oh. have, I have oh. you set to 187 percent, and Miller still significantly louder than you. Really? Right. I'm maxed out on. Uh, I'm maxed out on Discord. So let me take a look at my um, little Aww. little Scarlet. If I turn uh, Stoker up to 200 percent, he sounds okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wild. Dang. Okay, maybe I won't adjust it if you've got me at two hundred percent. Wait, let me see what let me see what I have still current. Oh, that's weird. Um hmm. I he sounds normal for me. Uh so check your uh check your, your the game on the Scarlet and um also in Windows because Windows loves to fiddle with settings. Yeah, Stoker's only at hundred percent for me, I can't work just fine. I've All pretty right, much well, I'm just going to leave it as is for now because Rick can hear me and the stream can hear me and y'all can hear me and if I start fiddling with things, it's suddenly going to make me deafening, so no. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to leave it all as is for now. But yeah, Sus up. Sus up. Sus up. Sus up. Um, don't, don't forget to like, doing, just don't, don't forget, forget to like, comment, sus up. We all live in a submarine. We all live in a society. Come and join me and red and green and blue in our sub. God, when it, when is the fifth map for uh, Among Us coming out? That's the sub. <laughs> God. <laughs> I actually never heard of that. What is it? But <laughs> I I made it up. Oh. M My Miller Miller is doing <laughs> Miller is Damn doing it. a comedy. Damn You're it. doing a Joek. You're doing a what? A Joek. A Joek. I All right. Yeah, you know, when you're just having a, a merry little bit of oh, mirth. Oh, a Joe a jo jo Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah funny. See, it's funny because I like pronounced it like it was a typo, so therefore it's humorous. Yeah, no, I thought you were. Uh, oh God, was that like? Uh, a uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she sees uh, overriding Fenico laugh. Look, I love the Fenico laugh. But <laughs> I think we uh, we're we're killing it. <laughs> we uh, we played it out very well. Yeah. 
There will be a time where we can do it again. I'm sure of it. <laughs> but One it's day. not this day. <laughs> On this daily bread. Okay. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, water staff. <laughs> Sub subs are susky. Ah, I don't, I don't s sus a sub. Not unless the sub is literally called sus. You want your suds to be sus. I don't want my suds to be sus. I want them to clean me. Uh. Uh... What? What, Miller? No. Are you saying you think it's weird that I want my suds to clean? Oh, I thought you said your subs. Well, yeah, who do you think is doing the sudsing? Uh. <laughs> sud Jeez, Miller, don't be weird. <laughs> Yeah, don't you know I collect subs like Pokemon cards? <laughs> 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 Gotta catch them all. <laughs> I do some weird mental images. Anyway, um. I value your Pokemon cards with my Digimon cards. Are there di of course, there are Digimon cards. I've never seen them. I mean, but of course, I there's going to be a game. I don't know if it's going to be popular. You know, I find if. I, f I find it interesting over all the years, now that I think about it, with all the crazy crossover games, I'm surprised we never got a Pokemon vs. Digimon. Hmm. I might as well just teleport back up. That just occurred to me, wow. There are too much direct competitors to do something like that. Same reason you don't see, like, a Pokemon magic set or something like that. Well, I wouldn't say it's on the same level as Marvel vs. DC or something like that. Although Ed Boon, I have a feeling, is trying to do something like that. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not on the same level because Pokemon is endlessly more successful than Magic the Gathering. I mean, yeah. Fortnite's also wildly more successful than Magic the Gathering, and yet we did have a Fortnite Magic set. True, true. But also, Nintendo is so iffy about their IP, you know? Uh, if you go back to the quest marker, Callop will be there and he'll point you to where... Yeah, Toro I know, is. I talked to him. <laughs> Did that not move the quest marker? It did not. Oh, it well, shake my bake. Then I run. Jack goes her leg. Go southeast. Uh, Alright. Just take the tower then, if it's gonna be that far. Me walking a block, deciding to go back so I could just drive to this corner store. <laughs> <laughs> sure. God, I've tried I've tried to do that a lot less, because I definitely have done that at times where I'm just like, I wanna get some food, and so I get in my car and I drive two blocks to the canes or whatever. Instead of just walking through the drive-thru. I, well, that's literally what I was going to say. That's what I'm trying to do better about it. And I'll just be like, no, you don't get to go out to eat unless you walk there. <laughs> Miller. Then you at least get to, like, work it off a little bit and, like, get outside and breathe some actual fresh air. You know, that fresh inner city air. I was about to say, yeah, that fresh downtown major metropolitan air. <laughs> Look, just don't go out between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. and you're fine. <laughs> just don't go out, like, ever at all. Plus, I wouldn't want to go out between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. anyway. Like, 
this time of year, at that time of day, that, that's how I get a sunburn. Entirely like localized minutes. within your kitchen? In this economy? <laughs> yeah, that's how I get a sunburn in 30 minutes. Or no, so, that's true. You are you are a bit pale. Ye. Yeah. It's funny. People will say that uh, my sister is not related to me because she is so much bronzer than every other member in our family. <laughs> she got so much more of the Native American genes. Nice. Well, Miller, I, I, go on, go Jonas. Oh, no, I was gonna say I'm, I'm I'm pale up here, but um. I'm a little more coppery in Los Angeles, and when I went to Hawaii, I was much darker. It was weird. I thought, I literally thought you were talking about which parts of your skin were darker or paler when you're like, <laughs> I'm pale up here. I'm pale up here, but well, you know, elsewhere. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Where did he go? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Pillar shaped ruin in front of this tent. He going inside. Oh, so he's inside the pillar. Oh. Weirdly square shaped hole right there. You know what goes in the square hole? The link shaped block. Yep. Uh. Ah! Wear the electric garb, hidden at the long neck dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. Sure, why okay. not? Offer his own, I charge to the altar at the tail. Oh. Oh. Burp. Excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> I can open it. Yeah, it's weird to say you can't open it. Like, sure, if you tap it from the front with your hand, it makes sense. But also, Link just kind of, like, kicks it sometimes, and that opens it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that works. Oh. Mm. You gotta show but him. Rauru Ra Ra just uh, put in an uh, anti-frustration feature. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> What a guy. What are you gonna guy now? You're showing your midriff to Taro in exchange for him showing you his. I guess you could say Raru lent you a hand. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Probably when you're older. Uh. Oh. Arkansas says Link is like Mashal and minorly made. Mm magical things. Just do what he says when he threatens violence. They know what happens to pots. <laughs> they know. Yeah, they call kettles black. <sighs> oh. Oh. They we want me to use the sensor plus to find treasure chests. You know, when you said sensor, I thought like, what, like censorship? Uh -huh. That's where Did my you... brain went to. 
Link's uh, midriff was just too spicy. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, yes, the Sensor Plus, those stronger enemies from Psychonauts. <laughs> <laughs> Got those gratuitous belly button shots. Oh my. You mean every shot of Rauru? Oh my. Some Minoru as well, who again, I want to reanimate. Her design has her wearing a open front face corset. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so it's pillars along the length of or the, the the tall necked lizards along the length of the forest serpent. There's a treasure chest nearby if I go this way. Oh, you can also offer the claw up here while you're at the spring. So then I, uh... Dump it in the spring. Where is it? Uh, third row, second item. Nothing above me. Link's just like, you know, guys, I could use a little help getting up this cliff instead of doing it all myself. And all of your friends are like, oh, yeah, I got a prior engagement, bye! And they return to the ring. Uh, is it just pointing to a treasure chest that happens to be at... Yeah, one of the, camp. like, yeah, enemy camp chest, I think so. Or maybe not even, it might just be a wooden chest that's like in the camp. You don't even need to find anything to open it. Yeah, it's a wooden chest. It's the shield of the mind's eye. I don't even want this. Hmm. Hey, 
Okay. Okay. Literally, the only material around here are these two boulders. Hmm. The language they use in the Zelda games, like Highland, I guess it is, is it inconsistent across games? Like, I, I haven't been paying attention to that stuff, admittedly. If it were uh, consistent across games, it would literally be the only thing in the franchise that is. Okay, I'm just curious. <laughs> you know, I just because I'm looking I'm at not, that thing. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying that like it would be the exception to the rule if it were in fact consistent. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. Not even Zelda is in every single game. <laughs> 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 not even Link is in every single game. No, there's not even a game for every single game. Uh, looking at the ah. wiki, looking at the wiki, it shows that yeah, basically oh. no two games besides like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have used this. The language is exactly the same. Mm. Um, and in the places they do use it, it's just a cipher for the English alphabet. Yeah, I'm not shocked. Just disappointed, Nintendo. You're slacking. Not a unique language. Get with it, Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, unique unique fantasy languages are always kind of weird because I'm I'm just like that's so nerdy and so pointless. It's cool as like a gimmick, but like it's so much effort. I remember just... that the uh, the writers of Futurama made uh, this this whole effort to come up with a unique alien alphabet um, <laughs> that they uh, they would start using in like graffiti and stuff in the very first episode. And they're like, I wonder how uh, how long it'll take people to crack it. They had it cracked after the premiere. Of course they did. <laughs> I mean, I mean, God, I would probably try and do it. I'm kind of a language nerd. So they had to come up with another one that was more complicated, and it took them like a, a couple episodes to get that one. I think at that point they stopped trying to outsmart people. <laughs> if you want to learn a language like that, Jonas, go learn Phyrexian. That's at least one I kind of appreciate. Phyrexian? It's Phyrexian. Magic the it, Gathering thing. Yeah, it's from Magic the Gathering. Imagine... Oh. How to describe Phyrexia. Imagine uh, dragons. Of, uh, yeah, imagine dragons. No, bigger than dragons, uh, <laughs> if we're talking about the dragons. Um, imagine uh, something that's like uh, necromancy meets the Borg. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me do it. Nah, I can't do it. Can't imagine it. Yeah, they, they kill people and then surgically alter them to make them, you know, forfeit their flesh and uh, become better, have... and then they resuscitate them. Just open some conspicuous doors along the river here then mm. Yep. Mm. but they have a whole language that they uh, made up and it's it's not just a cipher for anything it's got its own sort of grammar structure and articles and all kinds of stuff I think, I think that's one of the things that's kind of weird with it is it doesn't have many articles and it doesn't have like gender nouns or anything. Hmm. There's a lot of just calling everything it. It. Well, I mean, a for person the person or an object or whatever. Hmm. For the Phyrexians, that makes sense. Hmm. Language is weird. Yeah, you knowledge. know it is. It's just like you open your mouth and you flap your your mouth tentacle around, and you're like, I don't know. And this is supposed they to make convey words. like deep okay, meaning. With with what do they make the words? Their meat? Yes, they make words with their meat. Yeah, How they... can meat make words? 
They even sing by squirting air through their meat. <laughs> uh, that's how I do it. Good story. I I love that. <clears throat> I love seeing the the dramatic readings of it. First time I was ever exposed to any of that story was um way back in the day. Uh, the Sci-Fi Channel used to have a um, an audio thing on their um, their website called the Seeing Ear Theater, and uh, I didn't Good even title. have it. yeah I know right I didn't even have internet access at the time they just would advertise it on the network and um, one of the ads featured an excerpt from that story. Dang Link. Midriff out, no shoes. Getting like slutty. We, yeah, like we in business. He knows what he wants. Giant slutty, phallus slutty on your head. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone too far. My phallus, he's a unicorn. No, if it's a phallus, then he's a unicorn. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Stokes. Yes. No, that's the that's the that's what happens at the end of the did it did it so just says Stokes. <laughs> you know what I could see it or hear it. Run it dun dun it Stoker. Here, see? That's my new theme music. <laughs> oh Jonas, I didn't tell you I didn't tell you or anyone else about the adventure that happened today. <laughs> well, please tell me. So, you know about the, uh, our own cat, whom we adopted, mm -hmm. uh, little Vanellope. Vanellope. Well, and there are some, some semi-feral cats outside that adopted us, right? Uh-huh. You know how that happens. Yeah, I mean, that happened to us. Go on. So, we've wanted to keep the, the twain separate, shall we say, because uh, we have no idea how interactions between uh, oh yeah yeah you definitely don't them want would them. go yeah that could be bad actually you don't want them yeah to, uh, so go and we've done a very good job of that so far I must say um sorry I was counting something um so Find the altar at the tail there are two primary cats outside uh, there's another door. Uh, the primary members of the sequence. Um, <laughs> there's this this gray one that has been given a number of different names. Uh, my dad originally uh, referred to him as, exclusively as the poor little cat. <laughs> um, then he started referring to him as Kit T Cat. Um, that's my very, niece, however, hmm? that's like that's a very cat to the musical kind of name. But go on. My uh, my niece, on the other hand, since he's he's a little bitey mm. sometimes with his affection, I don't think he knows that it hurts. Um, it. Hold it. She started referring to him as Nippy, or later on as Jack the Nipper. Um, <laughs> That's cute. Nice. But uh, anyway, so he has a variety of names. He has many names. Um. The point I was making with that is there is another cat, um, an orange cat we sometimes refer to as Orangey. And, orangey? Um, oh, orangey. like Orange Guy? We had yes, an Orange Guy. Orange. Yes. Um, go, go on, go on, sorry. And uh, Did your cat's little, little Gray Nippy is a super friendly cat, even if he is a little, you know, nippy. Basically, he's uh, a cat then. Yeah, but that orange one, that orange one is not social. Ginger cats are assholes. I don't know why that's the case, but like that's always the case. That orange one uh, is a little bit vicious, and in fact, the gray one seems to be a little afraid of it. So today, uh, I was in my room minding my own business when. Uh, Dad opened the door and he was going out to the porch and I suddenly heard him yelling for me uh, and I ran to see what was wrong and... Also, Link, what the hell are you wearing? 
And what had happened was he had opened the door on the gray cat and the orange cat having a disagreement. <gasps> oh, okay. And... I thought you were gonna... Go on. No, no, Jonas. <laughs> he opened the door on them having a disagreement, and the gray cat darted into the house to get away from the orange cat. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and he was like, and Dad was like, Ax! And I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> and Vanellope was wandering around like, what's going on? There's a burglar! <laughs> <laughs> he steal my stuff? And, uh, no nothing came of it. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, all that happened was she hissed at him and he ran away back out the door. <laughs> nice. Um, because Penelope doesn't care much for other cats. <laughs> um, it's the only thing that she's not, like, super, super sweet about. It's just, like, she's all, all cuddles and meows and sweetness unless she sees another cat and she's like, who's this bitch? Well, no, yeah, that, that, that's a thing I've also noticed. Like, cats that are, are good with other cats are not good with people and vice versa. Like, I, um... <laughs> My uh, my mom's friend Marilyn had this enormous uh, main coon named Dilly. Dilly was uh -huh. like so cute and so affectionate and just like oh, I love you, I love you, pet me. And like at the time, uh, we uh, mom and I had we'd rescued a little tortoise shell kitten named Zoe, uh, and we were like Zoe was upstairs, and I was like, should I bring Zoe down and see how they interact? And and, and Marilyn was like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Zoe, you know, she, she was she's sort of semi she was sort of semi feral, like just a little bit. And when uh when I brought her down, she kinda looked at Dilly and Dilly like Dilly was sort of side eyeing her. I'm like, oh maybe they'll warm up to each other and I kinda bring them closer until he just freaks out. He he he's just like Marilyn's holding him and he's just like ah! uh, <laughs> oh, and he jumps out of her arms. Yeah, oh, no. you got a new styling now, you gotta figure out how to get there. I gotta test the cat's being like that. We brought uh, a mother brought a gray cat in the house once because it reminded us of our old cat Fox, mm. who ran away. But um, H Hubbard and Candycorn were both observing it. Like, what the hell is going on here? Are we being replaced? <laughs> mm. Like, I, I need this job. <laughs> I need this job, yeah. They just stood on the stairs observing the cat. <laughs> As one does. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh that was our little adventure. Nice. Didn't last that long, but it was uh it still managed to be very stressful. <laughs> Thunderhead Isles. Let's see. Is there anything down here? Sounds friendly. I'm sure it's a wonderful place that has absolutely no issues with thunder or falling heads. off the edge or anything. With thunder or heads. Actually, if you look at the map, you can see what it looks like. It looks like a thunderhead. It kind of does. Thunderbirds, ho! Who you calling a hoe? I'm just kidding, I know it's me. <laughs> wow. Are you really surprised, GC? <laughs> GC's like, no. I'm not surprised in Stoker. I'm just disappointed in myself. <laughs> that would actually be an accurate description right there. <laughs> There's a treasure chest nearby. Probably over there. <laughs> yeah. We were at an actual talk show. Stoker had a very specific riff that the drummer would, you know, like the, the, the band section would play whenever he said one of his, you know, Stokerisms. Da -da 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 okay, we did. Is that anything, is that anything like Rickyisms? <laughs> exactly. 
All right, fund it, make it happen. Okay. Groovy. You heard him, chat. Let's get those phones ringing. Oh, geez, speaking of Groovy, uh, Friday the 13th, apparently, is getting, uh, they're going to make another game now, but work on media. Holy, I can't believe uh, they're starting over now for Friday the 13th. Well, I mean, do, what, how does the right situation stand currently? Mm. Apparently, they are not, they, they uh, worked it out on video you game survived. meta. survived. <laughs> Survive for now. And they announced that they are in the works of making another Friday the 13 game, but unfortunately, not with Gun Media, who already worked their butts off for that game. I'm still bummed about that. Yeah, uh, well, the what? previous Friday the 13th game is just gone forever now. As of December 2024, yeah, it's gone. You mean it's not available? It'll be off Steam. Huh. Yeah, yeah. it's. Ugh. Licensing. licensing stuff, yeah, licensing stuff is stupid. I know that was an issue that came up with Alan Wake. Yeah, um, because oh, yeah? Some oh, the music. Yeah, oh, there was licenses, there was licensed music in that game, and apparently the license ran out at some point, and they were just like, we're gonna have to pull Alan Wake from stores. This Aww. feels really dumb. And they yeah. ended up extending them or whatever, but it was like, still... Did they, like, did they use music they weren't supposed to, or...? No, 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 they, no, they, they literally the used it, but... the music legally, but the rights were only for a set amount of time. Oh. Yeah. Gotta read the fine print. Yeah, yeah that's, well, that's just, why that's they because... now make all of their own music for that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's because uh, copyright and uh, IP law is fucked all across the board, but there's no place that it is fucked harder than in the music industry. So, oh, just... yeah. Like, that is the most fucked of all the fuckings. Yeah. Like I said, that's why they do their own music now, which is all pretty good, especially the, uh... There was, like, uh... I can't remember what it was called in Control. The, like, the Wicker Room, or... Smoker's Room, or something like that. That section was great. I freaking loved that. Hmm. Didn't GTA also have issues with music licensing? Yeah, it was like any Dan game that has Dreyas? licensed any game that has licensed music is gonna run into this sooner or later. Yeah. <laughs> the RIAA wants their pound of flesh. <laughs> they just want electricity. It needs lightning, thunder, thunder, the barbarian. Is... That didn't quite work. Uh oh. Well, no, just just let go, Link. But he promised he'd never let go. Oh, the ashtray maze. Yes, that's what it's called. Thank you. The I knew it had something to do with smoking. The ashtray maze, you said? Yes, that oh. it, it's the like um, post-game hardest challenge sort of thing. But the start of it, or not post-game, it's still part of the main progression of the game. Uh, you get a Walkman from the janitor of this mm. like secret government facility, and this is a guy who has shown up in very weird places at very weird times, and obviously something's up with him. Like G-Man style. Kind of. Clearly he's not human. He's something more and he's trying to help you and so he gives you this uh, thing and then you put it on and you do this entire maze fight section set to this amazing sound or amazing song. Huh. <clears throat> I just really like stuff like that where the gameplay and music blends together a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. moments like that in games that have really affected me. It was um, Divinity Original Sin 2. There's a part where you have one of your party members. She's been sort of taken over by a demon in a sort of warlock agreement thing. Um, and after you free her from that deal, she then plays you a song. And it's like a two minute song that she just sits there and plays to you in, a, in like a little cutscene. I, I, I don't know that, that that had a profound effect on me 
That sounds nice. I like it. Controls an SCP fan game. I mean, it's very similar to SCP. It's that kind of like government facility tries to handle and manage the arcane and strange. Yeah, they've been after me for years. Yeah. <laughs> They can't afford my licensing fees. <laughs> I still like the universe. I still like that game. But I will say that there is something to the, uh... The, the way that SCP stories are presented as, you know, redacted documents and stuff. <laughs> Interview files and... That definitely brings a bit to it. Going. <coughs> you shot me. that wizard out of the sky. It happens. My oh my. Shot through the heart, <laughs> with robes to blame. You'll save Zelda another day. I felt like it needed a meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow 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 meow. It's the meow mix. Meow meow meow. Every song needs a meow mix. Hey, you play your game. Are you doing like meowth or something? That's right. Me, yep, that's right. So, does the fact that Team Rocket's Meowth learned how to talk mean all Pokemon can theoretically know how to talk? Like the uh, practice, I guess. As far like, as I know, Jonas. as far as I know, yes. Yeah, the other Pokemon in the game just don't apply themselves well enough. Yeah, lazy. They're just lazy, mon. Who, by the way, is also my favorite Digimon. Nice. <laughs> God, but don't be a Slothmon. Don't be a Slothmon. Don't be a Numenmon. Numenmon? <laughs> well, there is a. Uh, there's literally. Isn't uh... Seinfeld's arch enemy? No. There's a there's a sludge monster named Numamon, uh, who, who thinks he's always like uh, he's the best Digimon in the world. The only problem is, how do you get him? You spoil your your Digimon, and he's one of the worst. <laughs> a lot of people that play Digimon in the Digimon world know about. It. Oh wow. Oh, he's trying to give you the duck dodge dip and dive. The duck dimidome? I was waiting for that. I was like, the second he said that, I was like, I was like, duck dimidome. The trademark gibberish of man. Alright! Dug dug at them over the ding down dim down dim 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 dim. You did it wrong. You did the wrong thing wrong. How dare you? How What's the right thing, dare. Jonas? Not that. Riddle me this. No, I refuse. You're gonna give me electric attack every second hit. So. <laughs> hey, Jonas, have you heard that they're talking about releasing uh, the original? First, uh, first cut of uh, Batman Forever. Oh God! One that they made them uh, change because they they it was it was too dark for what Warner Brothers wanted that movie to be. Well, okay, now I have oh. to ask: Is there a demand for that? Were people like clamoring for it? I mean, do you have to ask when nerds are involved? 
<laughs> like, there's always a freaking demand for alternate cuts of things. Yeah, but, I mean... Mm -hmm. Like the freaking uh, Snyder cut of Justice League or the Schneider Donner cut of Superman, uh, Superman 2. Yeah, I, I, I guess. I, I wasn't, like, blown away by those, but fair enough. I'm curious about this one, but mostly because there's a scene with a giant bat monster in it. Really? Like yeah, the, really. a finished scene? Yeah, it was it was fully shot and everything. It was supposed to be like this symbolic thing where Bruce goes into a cave to reconnect with like his 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 bat sona or whatever. Yeah, his spirit animal. And uh and he encounters like this this big old metaphorical bat thing that was like designed by Rick Baker and oh. Alright. And then they cut the whole sequence. You know, I, to this day, I'm not sure whether the problem with that movie was the director or, like, executive bullshit. Because I honestly can't tell. Like, I, there, you know, there there are a couple of scenes that feel almost like like another movie. But, oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean... It's entirely possible it was a little bit of both, man. Wait, wasn't it, it usually that... Hmm? Go ahead. Was it you or someone else told me that Schumacher didn't even really want to do it? Like, like on set, he'd be like, "Remember, folks, it's a comic book." Yeah, well, yeah, he'd be like, "Remember, this is a cartoon." I do think his heart wasn't in it. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, Batman and Robin turned out the way it did because, like, he may have had some vision for Batman Forever, but that definitely was was squashed by the studio. Yeah. So by when Batman and Robin came around, he just gave no shits anymore. You know, I enjoyed some like I enjoyed like Saint Elmo's Farmer, Saint Elmo's Farmer, Saint Elmo's Fire, Saint Elmo's Farmer. Um, yeah, Saint Elmo's Farmer. Saint Elmo's Farmer. <laughs> Saint Elmo's Fire. You yeah. mean the stuff that comes off the wings? No, it's it's one of his. Planes flying through a thunderstorm? No, it was an eighties movie. He did. Um, and he did the Lost Boys. That was that was. A yes, he one. did the Lost Boys. That was one of his better movies. Yeah. Lost and, Boys was good. Um, and Flatliners is not a good movie, but I like it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, Flatliners is a fun movie. It yeah. is. It is. It's 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 very solidly a B movie. It's a, it's like a '90s B movie. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened with Batman Forever. Yeah, and that was kind of like the beginning of the end for for Schumacher right there too, because he never really made anything as good as his earlier stuff after that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, he made other uh, stuff. I know he did. Well, yes, of course he did. Uh, the uh, the Phantom of the Opera, Andrew Lloyd Webber's version. He was the adapter of that. Mm. That uh, did not turn out too super great. Mm. Um, he did uh, the number twenty three with uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, that's right. Where you went, you went insane. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, where he went insane does not narrow down the uh, not narrow things down much for Jim Carrey movies, my bro. But uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like it was like a numerology movie where he just like he thought the number was stalking or something like that. Yeah, it was. Uh... I, I went to see that one, and I really I wanted to like it, but man, the plot twists were stupid. Um. <laughs> It has one of those, it's one of those movies that has a scene that's supposed to be, like, really dark and shocking, but comes across as, like, an out-of-left-field Monty Python comedy moment. Just thinking about how I would handle a plot like that. Oh, I'm sure you would handle it with the utmost respect and care, and absolutely would not do anything ridiculous and silly with it. Right, Jonas? Yes, of course. Yeah, you wouldn't make Ow. a... You wouldn't make a movie about someone being stalked by a specific gibberish phrase. <laughs> like, at the end, you know, at the end scene, it's just like this big Muppety-looking 23. Like, it's the, yeah. it's the actual numbers, <laughs> just like with, like, you know, like, scary eyes. Like, <laughs> and he's just a, he, he punches it, and it's like... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you know, it runs away. You know, like, I cool. would pay to see that. No, yeah, movie. you'd you'd have you'd have the story be like this Art Nouveau film <laughs> about the troubles of living with like dementia or something, and it's this person who thinks they're being haunted by the Jabberwock, and they keep reading all these like Lewis Carroll poems to try and see if they can predict where it's going to show up next, if they can somehow actually fight it, and then it just. At the, at the end, you know, there's like hints of like, wait, is it actually a mental thing or is it real? And at the end, it's just like a very silly looking Muppet. Are we I just mean, talking about Terry Gilliam now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um. What would uh? What would looking at the bottom if... of this thing, it looks like there's a way to ascend up into it. If I, I think had so, the budget. there's like some of the corners are taken out. If I had the budget to make a movie, <laughs> yeah, I think you can stand in there. There's a few movies I would definitely make. First and foremost, among movies I would want to make, I would want to make a uh, period piece. Uh, as accurate to the novel as reasonably possible adaptation of Dragon. So, because... yeah, if you look up, there's the shrine. We need to somehow get in there. Because that still hasn't really been done. No, Bram Stoker's Dracula does not count. Shut up. I haven't seen a minecart anywhere. If there's not one on this end, there's definitely one on the other end of the tracks. <clears throat> you could do the thing. You could chill surf it onto the other side. It really doesn't seem very safe. <laughs> <laughs> just just shield surf across an empty pit that leads to absolute nothingness. It's fine. Also, <laughs> Ron Rab says at the, at the end of Jonas's movie is the squish elope, and you know what? Uh, He's right. God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> especially if especially if that had nothing to do with anything that came before <laughs> just suddenly out of nowhere it's, oh no it's the squish up <laughs> it's not what even the intent go ahead what does squish up look like I wonder um that's the subject of much debate but nobody's yeah. ever seen it without getting oh, squished oh I see uh, there that's are no curse I have, yeah. like, an idea in my head of what the squish elope looks like, but I don't want to, like, nail it down. No, you well, can't nail it down. Comes. They'll squish you. See, when you say the squish elope, I keep thinking of, uh, what was it called? Grackle from the My Little Pony show. It's, it's this, like, six-legged, derpy-looking dragon. Oh, you mean, like, Grackle. the old show? Like, the 80s show? No, no, it was in the new one. Was it anyone? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not caught up. I, I have the wrong name for it. It's when Rarity and them are sneaking into the dragon's camp, and they're trying to disguise the dragon, and they're they're. Oh costume yeah, looks they awful. tried to disguise. That's right. But then it turns out their costume that. looks exactly like a dragon who's already there. That's right. I remember it was a one-off gag where they were like talking about. It was how a one-off terrible... gag, and then that became a recurring character. <laughs> And they did like a cutaway. The Wampum's like, that dragon looks kind of funny. And they're like, I don't know, look at Grackle or whatever. And they cut to a dragon off to the side. And he's just like, <laughs> he looks exactly like a <laughs> terrible costume. I remember, I'd forgotten all about that. And they're just like, oh yeah, Grackle. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever his name was. I had. God, I had forgotten completely about that, Miller. <laughs> that that stupid-looking dragon sits in my mind rent-free. You know, it's funny people say that this thing and that thing occupies their mind rent-free. How many things in your mind pay rent? Uh, all of my uh college <laughs> pays rent. Uh. Is well, that what you uh, refer to your it. student loan payments as? <laughs> oh no! I mean, I paid off my student loans already. I paid those off oh, well, like three years you. after graduating. Good for you. Good for well, you. I paid mine sure off did. too, but that was a while ago. Uh, hey, hey. Paid mine off. You, uh, you alright there, Jonas? How's everybody doing in the chat tonight? Anyway, um. <laughs> 
Uh oh, Jonas. What? Don't tell me what? you still have the student loans. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no, Jonas! No. That's a story and a half. But anyway. Mm. Um, and then it got too real. <laughs> it helps when my parents were able to help me out a lot. I think they paid for like ten or 15000 Half of that they just gave to me straight up. The other half they offered me as a loan with zero interest. They offered right. you as a loan? Is that what well, you just I mean, said? they're just like, you will pay us back for this, but you will pay us back the amount you borrowed, and that's it. Well, you have good parents. <laughs> it's good to have good parents. The only reason I was able to pay mine back as uh, quickly, quote-unquote, as I did is because mine were fairly small to begin with. Mm-hmm. I mean, mine. What was the highest amount? I think the after I graduated, it was twenty-two thousand three hundred, and that took me about three years to pay off. That is definitely way more than mine were. Yeah. But I also I was trying to go at this um, being economical, so I knew I wanted to get a degree from a particular college because they were like highly rated or whatever but what i ended up doing is i went to community college for two years community do, like... college is so underrated yeah so i went and got like my calculus and bas basic mathematics yeah. and english and history and yeah all this, this other is stuff how you, you do it kids. technical knowledge for this mm. is how you do it kids go to a community college for the first two years knock out anything that's going to be core curriculum for the the specialty college that you want to go through too okay yeah. it will save you so much money and Frankly, often the community college versions of those classes are easier. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But uh, they're easier, and that's the good time for you to kind of do the the college fucking around thing and just like yes. making friends, seeing different kinds of people, trying new things, expanding your life up. Or, you know, like going to orgies. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then the two years you're in your actual major school. Uh, is when you can spend like developing working relationships and stuff working orgies <laughs> <laughs> maybe we just had different college experiences final fan says they got their associates in science in from CUNY college yeah see, there like you go I think I, if I took two more classes, I could have gotten my associates before I went to my major school. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, eh, I don't really care. I know I'm going straight for a bachelor's anyway. I have an associates of applied sciences myself. Oh, nice. Thank you. It sounds way fancier than what it actually is. <laughs> yeah, most degrees are. <laughs> That guy is agreeing with the goal of hard knocks. I don't know. <laughs> you uh, you don't say. <laughs> uh, my my degree has a part in it that is actually fancy, but it's not really worth anything. Mm -mm. Greetings to first time chatters, Ty the Fox and Zero Zero Wolf. That's two zeros. Mmm. Double O Wolf, like James know. Bond. I was gonna say, yeah, double it. Double it off. Your mission is to eat a baby. What? Well, wow. You need to okay. go out, find a baby, and consume it. Nice. Okay. Wow. See, I always thought it was a. Uh, it was. It was the dingoes that did that. I don't remember what. It's some college in England. Some university in England. I don't remember what it's called or, or which one it is, but they have a degree above doctorate. Like it's like this, like super specialized doctorate. Yeah, it's called Time like... Lord. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's called the Rassilon degree. Uh, hold on. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can find it. The Rassilon degree. It's double doctorate. It's called the it's Doctor um, Doom to it. It's called the there's. No, it's Oxford, and it's called the Doctor of Divinity and the Doctor of Civil Law. These are both, like, super, 
Doctor of Divinity. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought that yeah, isn't the just credit college is trying to say they're better than actual isn't doctorates. Just, isn't just Doctor of Divinity like something you'd get for like religious studies or something like that? I I mean, has. Because that you can get that here in the it U.S. Just, I mean, it's just said it's considered by Oxford to outrank all other, deg other degrees, including a doctor of medicine. So, you know, well, oh yeah, okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go get my appendix taken out by a doctorate of divinity. The 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 it, they call it the DDIV. The DDIV is usually awarded for academic accomplishments beyond the PhD level. It, the degree has no academic value whatsoever. It is an honorary degree that is gifted out to people out of some great exertion during their achievement of a uh, doctorate. Oh, okay. Alright. So it's just extra honors. Yeah. You graduated a doctorate with Valedictorian. Congratulations, you're now a doctor of divinity. You're a double doctor. You're Doctor Strange. You're a double-decker doctor. Strange. <laughs> Not getting the van. Sam Raimi's waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a van. It'd be that yellow car that he puts in all of his movies. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> You gotta be fast on the draw there. Listen, Rick is an artist. He's very fast on the draw. You see what I did there? Mm. Oh, I did really seem to be a good way to attack them. I made a joke. You made I mean, he joke. made three pages for a comic every week for 15 years? Seems pretty quick on the draw. Man. Mm -hmm. How did you retain your sanity, Rick? I didn't. Okay. Cool! Join the club. <laughs> Aww. Doing comics is an odd experience because, like, there is stuff that you'll sweat that no one else will even notice. And then there's stuff where you don't sweat it at all. And, and you don't notice. notice. It. And then and somebody's like, "Wait, where's this over here?" Uh, how did they say that again, Jonas? Where was this over here? Uh, hang on, I'm not entirely sure I caught that. Can you explain it one more time? <laughs> where's this over here? Okay, okay. I, it's, no, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> don't do that. You're gonna give him a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> what's this over here? That's bring it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, you will obsess over little details that nobody else notices, and then there will be something that you didn't notice that everyone else does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, y you will encounter problems that you never thought about. Like, um, how to, hmm, what can I, hmm, ne never mind. <laughs> Mm hmm. <laughs> Were you about mm -hmm. to go into a territory that may not have been entirely Twitch friendly, Jonas? <laughs> it, anyway. Due to the nature of our project, Jonas? <laughs> let's just say, look okay, let's just, let me just put it this way. I've had to look up a lot of interesting reference. <laughs> I mean, that happens I mean, anyway in the paid to look at that? Yeah. You're in the wrong line of business. Miller's like, damn, I've been I've been perving it on my free time. You, 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 you're assuming this is, these are all things I want to look at. <laughs> Gaze into the eye of Sauron, Jonas. Is that what yeah. we're calling it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, you have to admit that uh, it did look a little Yannick, I'm just saying. <laughs> and I don't mean the hedgehog. Yeah. 
Somebody Bob Stoker, please. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Yannick the female version of the word phallic? Yes, yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It, is. <laughs> it refers to imagery that looks vaginal. Vaginal. Yeah, you heard me, vaginal. Like Vegeta. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are you gotta doing? Get, gotta get me that pink shirt that says bad boy on it. Listen, I'm just talking about Vegeta. <laughs> Why you gotta make it weird? <laughs> yeah, it's us. It's just we're making it weird. <laughs> oh no. Launch! I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in one of those, those giggling at my own stupid joke loops. <laughs> there you go. Chat's giving you all the bops for it. Good. Yeah, I think he's earned that. The bops are just another form of reward for me. <laughs> No, stop sending him your prayers. He's grown too powerful. He's escaped the hospital and is now terrorizing downtown. <laughs> Stoker Kaiju? Yes. Okay. Hey Jonas, have you ever seen that 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 picture? Well it's a comic really of like little baby Falco in, like, show-and-tell at school, and he's like, when I grow up, I want to be an architect! And they, like, zoom in on his face because I love building so much! <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> Stoker, why? <laughs> it's so cursed! <laughs> And everyone is like, no, Falco, no! God. <laughs> okay, <I'm back. laughs> Welcome back, GC. You missed some things. <laughs> Good or bad? Yeah. Uh, bad, Stoker bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Very bad. Yeah. And I'm blessed. We're gonna. <laughs> sorry, Stoker, we're gonna have to wish into the cornfield. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay, Rick said I could stay. Didn't you, Rick? Yes. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> this is a predicament. What if I just surf across and hop between the bars like Sonic? What if you <laughs> did? I, Live I... and learn! Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Okay. Just the the solution is always just to to ask yourself, what would Sonic do? Uh, what's been really bad? I see three people bonking Stoker. <laughs> yeah, they'll be bonking me for a while. There's It'll a take scene. a good long while to uh, get all the bonks oh, out. Somebody's begging something else. What? Somebody's banging outside. Oh, okay. Wasn't me this time. <laughs> banging on the handrails. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I'm, so, I'm really glad this. I wish I knew the words of this song. It wasn't me. I don't know them <laughs> at all. Nice. I'm really glad well this mic more. doesn't pick up all the bullshit that my. Okay, somebody's just tossing stuff into the construction dumpster that they're not supposed to. <laughs> Ugh. You know, I see so much crap in the in the dumpster that should or it's not just even around the dumpster that should not be there. Like not only has like have the neighbors given up, the management and probably the uh, you know, the the garbage company's just given up and they're just like, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and put your entire sofa in there or not even there, just put it near, near it. It's fine. Yeah. 
after a certain point, you kind of have to give up because there's just nothing you can do about it. Unless yeah. you want to hire a security guard for the dumpster and, like, what level of capitalism is that on? <laughs> I mean, seems about <laughs> even with uh, hostile architecture. Hostile yeah. architecture. Oh. <laughs> you know, that, that phrase, like, conjures these weird mental images for me. What, like, you, like a building is gonna just like pick up a fist yeah. and be like fucked around with the wrong two by four yeah. today, mister? Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Miller, Miller understands me. Mm -mm. Like, I've been yeah. around the you guys too long now. There. I know you're, you're ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're, this, this, this. you're learning the flavors of bullshit. You're learning <laughs> our lingo. Well, you know what, Stoker? Yes, Miller? Your face. <gasps> I'm so proud. Hey, listen, I'm gonna have to go get some pearls so I can clutch them. <laughs> Why is my thingy thingy? Oh, it's thingy time. Is it? Is it? Is it now? Has it at last arrived? It's time yes. for you to take your pills that make you not die for another day because of your rampant vampirism. Ramparism. Thank you, Jonas. My mouth was full. With, with what? Listen, man, we're on Twitch, okay? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because his mouth is full of dicks. <laughs> Thank you, wow. Miller. <laughs> Thank you, Miller. <laughs> Miller is, of course, referring to the popular Seattle chain of, of uh, restaurants. Oh yeah. yeah, do you know if they're still? Do you know if they're still cash only? I don't. I have not been to Dick's in years at this point. Just curious, because when I was there and I found that out, it really threw me off. I had to, like, use their ATM that was in their lobby, which has, like, I don't know, a $50 surcharge or whatever. Damn. No, it wasn't actually $50. I don't remember what it was. I you mean... It's cash only and not cashless only. <laughs> this seems so yeah. weird. It seems like I'm you gonna... do that specifically because you're embezzling money and you need to make sure that you can lie about how much you're making. <laughs> I recently went to a barber shop that was also cash only. Yeah, that's a front, my dude. No, they did the back too. Yeah, they did. You know, I th this is going to mark me as as a transplant rather than a local. But I always found Dick's a little overrated. I mean, it's okay, wow. but it's not like blow your mind. Got to have it, you know. It, it 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 wasn't the experience for me. What is the experience for you, Jonas? In and out. Uh -huh. I should, yeah, I should say in and out, but even th even that, like, I mean, in and out's good, but I do recognize it's not like Mind everything that really Angel. Good. Well, I'm okay. You know, when you're when you're 20 or even like a teenager, and you don't know, you know, you don't know anything about like good cooking yet. You know, <laughs> in and out's pretty good. Hmm. But I mean, I you know, I'm down here to get. I want that. You know, I'm remembering this. Um, many years ago, I saw screen caps of this one Yelp reviewer who would always leave these ridiculously hyperbolic, um, positive reviews for any business he went into, but they would be like written as if he were, like, a dragon or something. Mm -hmm. What? Like, he was going to this place, and he was like, not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five guys? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I spread my wings and screeched with glee into the sky. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> they were all, like, all caps positive reviews. <laughs> <laughs> you see that with an unholy clarity. <laughs> it's magnificent. It's the kind of energy we should all bring to our uh, our eating out experiences. 
This energy is what all true warriors strive for. No, 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 That's recently entered back in my mind because I was watching the uh, Wand of Gamelon reanimated. Yeah, reanimated, rehydrated. Anyway, um. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, now I want now you say that, now I'm thinking like, oh man, when's the Tears of the Kingdom reanimated gonna be? And how many people are gonna say they wanna do that Ganon face? Of course. You can I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see that. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's just, it just stands out so much against the other cutscenes that are all very good. You know But that one face. That it's one facial animation. It's because Ganon never makes expressions like that. That's that's what it boils down to. He's monstrous, but when he's in his human form, he's just kind of like, <laughs> confident, you know? Yeah, but even so, it's still never that crazy. That manic glee. <laughs> that overly outstretched mouth. Where he's like showing off the entirety of his gums as well. He's like, ha, ha, tonsils. <laughs> Look, man, it's just another manic Monday. Um. Yeah, I don't know what exactly they were going for Warper, but whatever it was, it did not quite work. Yeah, but consider, if it had worked, would it have been as memorable? No. I rest my face. But it would have been less And I rest my face in that position permanently. It would have been less memorable, but it, it would have been memorable for the right reason, not the wrong reason. <sighs> Yeah, well, there's no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> whoever said that is wrong. Yes. Well, I was gonna, whoever said that probably isn't on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's time, Link. Time to make your leap of faith. Okay. Do you trust me? No. Why nope. did you trust me, you fool? <laughs> you fool! Have you seen that clip, Jonas? I don't know if you've seen that clip. Of what? Uh, Gilbert Gottfried on Hollywood Squares. No. You should check it out, man. Oh, yeah. Just like... The, uh, the contestants, uh, keep picking him. Like, I want to go with Gilbert Gottfried to answer this one. And every single time someone picks him, he goes, YOU F- <laughs> well, it and it just keeps happening right. over and over again and each time he does it with more energy than the time he did it the last time it was so awesome uh, also uh, another thing you gotta know about in context is that he, they, someone had to pick him to win the game <laughs> yeah yeah he was in a position where that was necessary wasn't he yes so they had to pick him <laughs> But it, like, they kept getting the answer wrong. Nice. <laughs> it's bad when Whoopi Goldberg was like shouting the answer to them after they got it wrong. <laughs> so cold. So mm. It's because they. It seemed like the contestants kept trying to judge Gilbert Gottfried's sincerity, but that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it is, in fact, impossible. Not to mention, he can be very sincere and still have the answer yeah. not out wrong. <laughs> well, that was what threw him off, right? Because he didn't know if he was telling the truth or not. Oh, man, and he could do a good job of it. Didn't help that he every time he, he gave an uh they asked him, he, just, he always said, I, I know the answer to this one. Right. Narrator voice, but he did not, in fact, know the answer to this one. <laughs> yeah.
Uh, when should I start streaming this, Jonas? Streaming what? Tonight. Oh, but, oh. No, not tonight. Well, yes, uh, start at midnight, go until like 3 a.m. Well, we definitely need to, like, test Do yourself. some tests. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not you, that's just everybody. You know, I mean, that's that's always. Um, nah, I agree. But, yeah, I mean, you know, let me know when you want to do it. Okay. We should probably no. spruce up your, uh, like, your OBS setup and your, uh, your Twitch page a little bit. Me, 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 okay, thing. <laughs> I'm just a little sass master. No. It's true. No. I'm a sassy pants. Say it ain't so. Okay, I think it's so. Alright, fine. I love if there was just like one statue of Hylia in the game that gave you a discount. Ow. You know... Link I mean, you did find that one bargainer statue that just gave you a hard container for giving his eyes back. Yeah. You know, every time I look at these avids, Link swear, and I think, okay, Link could pull this off, but I probably couldn't. No. Well, Jonas, you never know unless you try. Yeah, that's true. Come on, man. <laughs> TFF oh. 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Big door. Miller, did they, show, did they show you the sticker I, I did most recently for the Jonas uh, Telegram set? Yes, I think you did. <laughs> Alright, you had way more than enough. So when I first came across this door, I had maybe like eight hearts. <laughs> and it took me a long time before I actually had enough to open it up because I got here way before finishing the phenomena. Because <laughs> they, because you do Taro's quest to clear the thunderstorm, but I literally just did that island in the thick of the thunderstorm, only able to see like five feet in front of me. God, and, you know, Aaron Hansen did. <laughs> yeah, and so I did. I did this fifth stage. Like, I think this was the third or fourth stage I got. It was definitely before I had done all the phenomena. Do 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 do. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. That's me. Take this, follow the light. It's dangerous. And another mask. Take this. Take the mask. Follow the light. Take this. Dangerous to go. Now alone. grab your destiny, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Okay. Let's go, Minoru. Let's fuck shit up. Okay. That is the wrong place for that. <laughs> I mean, is it? Yes, I think it is. I don't think you can get up onto it easily. <laughs> I feel like that just threw off the balance. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mirror with your mask so bright, won't you guide our way tonight? Minoru with your masks to bright. Stoke. Never mind. <laughs> Minoru with your masks, Stoker Bright. I was gonna make a funny, but I stumbled over my words. 
Now I'm all embarrassed. You're all embarrassed. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. oh whoa, oh, whoa. What, what would Zonai West look like? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be kind of... As aside know. from very complicated to draw because of the absurd amounts of detail on these character designs. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... I don't have to draw clothes on them, so... That's true. <laughs> I was about to say, as a matter of fact, you're encouraged not to. The encouragement comes from me. And also Rick. <laughs> and also Miller. And also the chat. Yeah. And okay. also this 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 dolphin I found. Uh <laughs> Where'd you find Where that dolphin? Encouraged, is it? I don't know. Somebody just left him lying around at SeaWorld. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, hey, free dolphin. Free dolphin. <laughs> it's free dolphin. Little, it's in a little carton that said free dolphin needs to get home. Exactly, exactly. I think he's a pretty young dolphin, too. Just a little baby dolphin. I remember this spot. Now that I've adopted him and I get to raise him as my own, I feel like I'm serving a youthful porpoise. <laughs> All right. Porpoise, porpoise. Zuck. <laughs> if I remember correctly, in Breath of the Wild, this was all swampy tar stuff you'd sink into. Now it's clean water. Nice. Well, that's uh, that's what happens when you have a strong EPA. Uh. I think it's the other way around. You're the other way around. It's upside down. You're upside down. Listen, I'm a bat. From my perspective, <laughs> you're all upside down. That's enough. <laughs> Uh, the statue of Gonzo here. And you didn't even have to reunite him with one of his chickens. I was starting to look like Gonzo. You know, I know they're very different things, but when I first heard about Hunter S. Thompson and Gonzo-style journalism, boy howdy did that give me some interesting mental images. <laughs> hmm. Never heard of that one. So we just keep going down into uh, progressively more pedestals that we need to put this laser thing on, opening more doors. Mm. Oh my god, you're going to Mordor? <laughs> Sometimes you just got a stoker. Uh, descending into the down, earth. I haven't seen that down, before in this game. Down, down. You uh, you okay there, Miller? It sounded like you ran out of uh, juice. Down, down, down. Somebody rejuice Miller, please. Down. Thank you for rejuicing Miller. He was, uh... Somebody sounds... managed to turn the key on my back. <laughs> so can we uh, get Raru and Minoru in Hyrule Warriors DLC? Yeah. Probably, yeah. I'm sure that's on the way. I could totally see that. Hyrule Warriors Age of Imprisonment? And then can we, like... Can we, like, date them both? <laughs> and then he kissed... No, uh, yeah, that's it's like, a, it's like Fire Emblem dating mechanics. Just... Wait, was there a Fire Emblem dating sim? I I don't know if there was a dating sim, but I feel like at least some of the games would have had relationship mechanics. Romantic relationship mechanics. Yeah, that does not seem the, like something that would be in Fire Emblem. Heading towards another game. door. 
Not the most recent one, though. Uh, that would buddy. be weird, because you're supposed to be their teacher. You know, I gotta admit, no hating on the genre, but dating sim is, like, one of the least interesting genres for me. It's because you're and, just a big hater. And yes, I played Lovers of Ether. <laughs> you're a dater hater. <laughs> I you also played a little bit of Dream Daddy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Who's that's why not... I... Whose UI designer went on to be the uh, UI designer for the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh. Alright. No, I... I mean, that's probably why I didn't finish either of those. It just doesn't, like... It's, like, zero interest for me. <laughs> and, again, not hating on the on the genre. It's just inherently bad and wrong. And so is over <laughs> the place. Construct Factory. So this is also a thing you could have literally run into at any time in the game. There was nothing restricting you from just walking across this at some point. Mm. If you didn't have the mask, nothing would happen. Mm. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Anyway. Um. Wait. Wait, hang on. Were you mixing Bane with V for Vendetta? Is that what you just did? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Sure, I could do that, Stoker, because shut up. Link. Oh, I hadn't Link considered that. Yeah, yeah. I invoke the uh, classic uh, logical I argument of Shirey Face. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am, I am happy you have so hot. At last, we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. So we can, you know, not do anything else. We cannot yet speak face to face. But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. Oh boy, Robo Waifu. You know, it 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 could be worse. This is my request <laughs> to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. Make my body as hot as fuck. Okay, so it's weird science. Um <laughs> From my hearts and from my hands. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Argusman says, oh boy, we get to put together the sixth sage. Exodia, the forbidden one. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people find a pair of hips really hot, so let's give her six. God, I wish you could mix and match pieces on her like that. That'd be hilarious. Just end up accidentally creating Walf. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer to go with Shelub for that reference, but you know, nice. potato potato. You you you'd prefer Shelob over Walf. <laughs> I I as a terrifying creature, what are you thinking? I would prefer it as. Uh, what'd you think I brought it up as? <laughs> what'd you think no. I thought that you were thinking? Of course. It's Stoker. Everything is horny. <laughs> Even the spiders. Uh, don't like that. Listen, man. Spiders are friends. They're friends <laughs> who eat bugs for me, so I don't have to. <laughs> Nobody oh. said you had to. <laughs> Yeah, nobody said I had to because the spiders are doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stoker, just go a little Renfield. Nobody would mind. <laughs> Stoker can have a little bit of Renfield. It's this... out on like home video now, isn't it? Uh, is it? Damn, that went fast. Should be. Right. Arcus Bellis is making reference to the uh, ship posty Little Mermaid comic. Where the, the butler was like, eight legs, you know what I mean? Seven virginias. No, oh, God. Oh, yeah, the one that Neil Ciceriga drew. Yeah, that Neil Ciceriga sister, made. His sister, he asked his sister, Emmy, to draw it, and she said no. <laughs> <You> can't blame <laughs> her. 
So he's like, fine, I'll draw it myself. And then it became an iconic shitpost. <laughs> As have many things that Neil Ciceriga has done, actually. Neil Ciceriga has defined a lot of the internet's sense of humor. He really has. He's too powerful. I think the part I think of the most in that is uh, when Eric is just going on endlessly about Pokemon to Ariel and she's just like staring at him with her eyes bugging out and she's all like, I can't not fuck him. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because she's thinking like, she's like, oh, or Ursula or someone told, or Sebastian told her like, yes, you gotta pay attention to his interests. And like listen to him rap, you know, with rapt attention. And he's going off about some bullshit and she's just like, can't stop. What if the live-action remake of Little Mermaid had just been a faithful adaptation of that comic? No, I don't- I forbid it. Oh, man. <laughs> what if instead of anything that was featured in any of the trailers, any of the actors, any of the shots, you just got into the theater and it was just that? Joker. Yes, Jonas. Joker. Yes, Jonas. Come on. Tell me it wouldn't have been better. Uh, it wouldn't have been better. <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. Well, you know what? That's what someone who's wrong says, okay? Oh, I can Do you want to be someone who's wrong? I'm not sure. <laughs> Put it on the conveyor belt. Whee! Jeez. Have a bunch of these wheels being the conveyor belt. It works. Uh, Joker, I'm hungry. Why am I hungry after you said a bunch of things like that? <laughs> That's good. Do you want some seafood? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe some shrimp tacos? Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do 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 Man. Hmm? I didn't have the Thunder Helmet when I did this. <laughs> well, but Miller, I had to like, come that. up with an actual thing for this, and Rick's just like, what, "Why? Yeah. I have some queso right here." Yeah, I was like, well, I'm Miller sure there is a that. an intended way to do this, but uh, I already have the easy way, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, I made like a like attach two different wheels to it, so it grabs like the two different sides of of the the thing at an L angle. And then it can ride across like that, and then you grab it from the other end. But it doesn't matter. Mm. Nothing really matters. It doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, those wheels are going different directions. Um, yeah, well, life goes in lots of directions. <laughs> I mean, if you want, if, if Rick, you want to make a spinning machine, you're doing real well on that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I do enjoy the sort of... Not anthropomorphic. What is it? The, the, all of the Zonai devices have very animalistic things to them. Especially ones that have one direction to them. I suppose that, that would be zoomorphic. Yeah. Because you understand head means forward, tail means back. And so when they put that on the Zonai devices, like, y you get it. You get it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Making a spinner battle bot? No, there's a band. At least they were. And then they realized nobody wanted to watch the show if the robots weren't obliterating themselves, and so they had to re-legalize them. That's funny. Uh oh. Uh oh. The oh, oh. Uh oh. It's okay. <laughs> Alright. Autopilot is working as intended. We got it all mm. under control. Your bus is made of steel. In the technological utopia, even the vehicles and tools have personas. You know what? That's something to aim for. Also, we just said they died. Oh, so we did. Or did Let's midnight just hit us? See. Oh, oh. I'm afraid. Is anyone going? Come on. Nope, nobody's streaming. Streaming has died. Twitch is a dead service. We should all move over to Mixer. Is Mixer, is Mixer even a still... thing? I was going to say, is so. it even open still? I thought they shut their doors. <laughs> I know there was some big to do about them, but I don't know anything about that. They had all their exclusives leave. Was that what it was? Oh, yeah. Shut down was July of 2020. Oh, that's funny. I thought it was still around. Uh, let's see. It lasted four and a half years, and that was it. Right. Oh, God. Well, it's, oh. It's... Companies thinking they can buy popularity. It doesn't I work. I don't have anyone right. Well, I'll be. I'll be a hot diggity double dog dipped. Maybe not. Um, dog dim a dome. Yeah, thank you. Did it wrong. <laughs> All right. I see this Not one right. guy live. He's playing <laughs> Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Awesome games. Wait, wait, it's Rick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's raid Rick. Yeah, let's raid Rick. Let's <laughs> see if we break Twitch. Recruits of Brew Crew Rose. I think they thought of that a while ago. <laughs> Somebody must Holy. have tried that already. Think of everything. Somebody <laughs> must have tried okay, let's, it. Let's... Yes, sir. Anyway. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night. Have Thank good you night. for coming. Night night. <laughs>